Oscar. Hey, hi, Francisco. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. This is the um, seasons. How, how can I say the Christmas time? New yeah, the, Year's Eve. New yeah. The, Year. How do you call the seasons or? Yeah, the, the holiday season, the Christmas season. Christmas season and New Year's season. Yeah. Already that. Yeah. Or end of the mm -hmm. year season. That oh, one is okay. Spanish yeah. too. Right. New Year's, New Year's Eve, and all the parties that usually uh -huh. come uh, with Christmas. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Uh huh. Yeah. But uh -huh. tell me. What do you usually do for Christmas? Well, um, usually, uh, I don't know if I, I spend my Christmas Eve with my family at home. Um, but uh, the other, the New Year's Eve, I spend it uh, on my job. I mean, working. Okay. So you never know. Right now, I will, uh, I know in my schedule that I will be on Christmas Eve. But I don't know if I will be on in Christmas uh, on New Year's, New Year's Eve. Eve. Yeah. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. Okay, but every year you have to sacrifice one of the two days. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh huh. And have you always? Uh, can it be different? Like, can it be Christmas or New Year's, or do you know that you will be with your family for Christmas? Um. I already had the schedule. Oh, okay. And, and I know that I will be with my family in Christmas. Okay. Uh, but um, I don't know if New Year's, New Year's Eve. But I prefer New Year's Eve. To be with your family. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I think I that, uh, yeah, I mean, the, the birth of Jesus, you know, it's like mm -hmm. really, really important. But like if we talk about, uh, anybody will say, no, I prefer to be with my family on New Year's Eve. Mm -hmm. I think it's more meaningful. Uh, um, uh -huh. Maybe, I mean, everybody has a different opinion. Yes, it's, for me, it's, it's more meaningful, but uh, if I had the chance, I will spend the two, the two, how to say, the two holidays. Yeah. With your family. <laughs> yeah. How about you? Um, you? Do you you spend the both of them? I mean, the yeah, whole season. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't work. I never work on a on a Christmas Eve or or a New Year's Eve. So, the twenty fourth and the thirty first, I'm always with my family. Now, what we don't know yet is where we will spend it. You know, so uh, okay. we don't. We don't. We don't know yet. But I know that it's going to be with my wife and my kids. That's for sure. Where? That's Good. the big question. Maybe it's going to be oh. in, in the house. We don't know. Yeah, good. good. Yeah, yeah. Mario. Hi, good evening. How are you, Mario? Very good. And you, Francisco? I'm doing okay. Thank you. Thank you. I'm, I'm listening that you are preparing for the Christmas evening. <laughs> yeah, for Christmas Eve. Uh, Christmas Eve, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, so Oscar is saying that he will have a big party in his house and he wants the <laughs> class to come to visit him. Ah, nice. <laughs> <laughs> to everyone. Uh. <laughs> All right. Irene, how are you? Good evening, everybody. I am very Hi. well, thank you for asking. Nice, nice. Okay. So welcome back. It's good to see you again. Remember that um, we finished classes um, this coming Wednesday. We don't have classes on Thursday, and that's the reason why we came uh, last Friday. How do you say reponer in English? Makeup. Makeup, exactly. Exactly. So that's why we came on Friday to make up for this coming Thursday. Okay. 
So welcome back. What's today's date? Today, today is Monday. Monday what? 14. Yes. December 2020. Exactly. It's December 14th, 2020. That is correct. Okay. Um, do you remember the topic uh, we discussed on Friday? If you were here. Friday, Friday. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you think about the USA? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, USA. What is USA? That is an example of? Acronym. Acronym, very good. Can you mention other examples of acronyms, class? UK. Okay, okay. good, very good. F-Y-G, F -F -Y -I. F -Y -I, okay, UK, what else? TGI. <laughs> yeah, TGI, yeah, TGIF. TGIF. Mm -hmm. Yeah, TGIF, exactly, right? F-A-Q. FAQ. What is FAQ? Frequency Angularance Questions. Frequently Asked Questions. Yes. AFQ. What if I say LAPD? What does that mean? Los Angeles Police Department. Department. Yes. <laughs> Los Angeles Police Department. Good. So those are examples of um, acronyms. And when you're using the language, uh, it's very common that people use a lot of acronyms. So uh, mm -hmm. that's how it is. Uh, do you remember the meaning of the word ASAP? As soon as possible. As soon mm -hmm. as possible, right. What always about- receive, uh, uh, Always receive an email uh -huh. from, yeah. from my boss that yeah. always need to everything. Yeah, for yesterday. Right now, yes. <laughs> Okay, what about RSVP? Uh, I don't know the acronym. Rest in peace. Excuse me? You say RIP? No. R RSVP. What is the meaning of RSVP? Ah, no. I listen. I listen. RIP. <laughs> oh. Yeah, RIP, rest in peace. Right, that's another one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that is also very common, RIP. What about RSVP? So Oscar is sending an invitation to everybody. Hey, I'm having a, a Christmas party and I want everybody to come. At okay. the end of the invitation, he writes RSVP. What does RSVP stand for? Answer if, you, if you're coming. Uh, answer if you're coming? Right. Now, this RSVP, it's in French. Who speaks French here? Anybody speaks French here? No? No. Well, RSVP, I, you receive an invitation. At the end of the invitation, it says RSVP. Because they, uh, let's say, uh, if only 20 people respond the RSVP, they will prepare food for 20 people. So the amount of food will depend on how many people confirm. So RSVP. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Did you type it on the, on the... Yeah, it's in the chat, RSVP. Chat, wow. RSVP. Oh. Yeah, uh, you know, it's like, it, it's in French, like, on this, si vous voulez something, I don't know. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Okay. RSVP, okay. Yeah, RSVP. All right, any questions or comments? What about that one? WFH is very common right now. WH. WFH. What for? I don't know. Work from? Home. Home. Uh -huh. Work, work from, from home. home. Yeah, work from home. Okay. Yep. 
All right. So COVID. COVID is another acronym. Yeah. What's the meaning of COVID? What does COVID stand for? Anybody? Coronavirus ID. Coronavirus disease. Disease, okay. Yeah, coronavirus disease. Okay, good. Julia, how are you? Hello, teacher. Fine. Good. Alive. <laughs> okay, good. All right, so any questions about our last class? No? No. Okay, now, how many different types of TOEFL exam are there? How many different types of TOEFL exam are there? Um, no. Two is correct. Two is correct. You have the paper based. So you go to Centro Cultural, Academia Europea, SN, whatever. Uh, and they give you a booklet with an answer sheet. It's physical. It's the hard copy. And then they have the TOEFL IBT, Internet-Based Test, IBT. Now, which one is more difficult? The TOEFL IBT. So let's say you're applying to be a manager of a bank. There is a good possibility that they will ask you to take the TOEFL exam or the TOEIC exam. So they have an idea of the level of English that you have because there will be a lot of uh, communication between the manager here in El Salvador and maybe, how do you say Casa Matriz in English? I don't know. Head... Holding? No. Headquarters. Headquarters. You see the chat? Headquarters. Yeah. Headquarters. Yeah, headquarters. headquarters. Headquarters means Casa Matriz or the main office. So let's mm -hmm. say you're the manager in a bank or in a big company, and mm -hmm. maybe the headquarters are in another country where people don't speak Spanish. So they will make sure that English is not going to be a factor to affect communication between the manager in El Salvador and the other people okay. in other countries. So they will ask you for either the IBT or the uh, paper-based. Now, let me ask you, I have mentioned this uh, several times. What areas or what skills does the paper-based exam evaluate? Mm -hmm. Which area? So you say, okay, I'm going reading. to- okay, mm -hmm. re Reading what? Comprehension. Reading comprehension. Now, yeah, okay, reading comprehension, and what is the other aspect they evaluate in the reading section? The word uh, fragile in line 21 refers to, what kind of question is that? Vocabulary, exactly. So they ask you questions related with the reading comprehension, and they ask you questions related with vocabulary. Remember what I told you, the day you take the exam, um, you have to be prepared for the reading. You have to be prepared for what else? Listen. Listening. Uh -huh. And what else? Uh -uh. The, the, the paper-based exam. So they evaluate reading, listening, and grammar. And grammar. Okay. And grammar. So they evaluate three sections. They give you 45 minutes for the listening. They give you 25 minutes. They give, uh, see. They give you 25 minutes for grammar. And they give you, I think, 75 minutes for the reading section. Let me advise you, the most difficult part is the reading section. You know, uh, the paragraphs are long and the topics are really boring. So um, 
keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. So uh, reading comprehension, and they will ask you questions related with uh, uh, with vocabulary. Now, what about the TOEFL IBT? BT or BP? IBT, it's right there in the chat. TOEFL IBT. <laughs> what does IBT stand for? IBT. Internet, internet based test. So instead of using paper to take the exam, you take it on a computer. There, they evaluate five areas. Listening, speaking, reading, and writing. And also they evaluate your grammar. That, that grammar. Yeah, yeah. And the exam is four hours. It's four hours. So they 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 tell you uh, make sure that you sleep well the night before, make sure that you have a good breakfast before you start the test, make sure you go to the bathroom before you start the test because there are no interruptions, there are no permissions while you're taking the exam, and the exam is more demanding than the than the paper based uh, version. Yep. So. Um, if you take the TOEFL IBT, you will have to show your writing skills. Let me ask you, how do you practice your writing in English? I can't practice. Okay, you're listening, you watch television, you listen to music, you speak with people. Uh, speaking, you, every time you come to class, you speak. Maybe you have the chance to work, to speak with somebody else at work or a friend. But how do you practice your writing? What advice would you give someone to practice their writing? To read and then to when, write. And when you send an email okay. or a chat or a chat with English, okay. uh, American person? Yes. Send emails in English. So let's say you're writing to your supervisor and your supervisor is bilingual. He speaks English, he speaks Spanish. You should use English as much as possible, not Spanish. Okay. Right? So uh, reading, reading has magic. Reading has magic. When you read, you are exposing yourself to structures and you see the same structure again and again and again, that when you least expect it, you internalize it. When you internalize something, you use it automatically, spontaneously. So that's what, uh, that's what you should do, read. People who read, they express themselves better than the ones that don't read. Why? Because they have more vocabulary, they have more structures, they have more topics to talk about. So reading has magic. And the best way to learn grammar is by reading uh, books. Reading books. Yes. Any questions uh, or comments about writing? No? Okay, so there will be questions related with where. If they ask you about where, what should be the answer? Related to the place. Exactly. If they say when, class? Time. 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 Exactly. What about if I say who? Related to person? People. Yeah, people. related to people. Related to people. What if I say which? Uh, with the event thing. something with which yeah options you say which when you're talking about options right what if i say how what should be the answer ways to make it ways yes if if you're saying how the answer should come back with ways to do something 
forms to do something. That is correct. Yes. Okay. Um, so make sure that if, if they're asking you something about where, your answer needs to be related with places. If they're asking you about who, your answer has to be related with people. Why am I telling you this? Because sometimes they, they ask you to read a paragraph or listen to something and they say, where was the accident? And then the person answers, oh, with her cousin. That's not the question. The question is related with where or who was driving the car. And they said, oh, in the city. No, the question was about a person. So be careful when you read the questions and make sure that uh, the questions are clear. Any questions or comments? No? No, did you? Okay. So I will assign you to work in pairs and practice your past structures. Let me assign. Mm -hmm. And here we go. Can you hear me? No, yeah. Araceli? Hello. <laughs> Hi. How are you today? I am here. Okay. I'm trying to do my best in this class. Oops, sorry. You have a headache? headache? Yes, I have a headache. Maybe it is because I think that day was really hot, and when I when the when the the weather is like this, I get headache. Mm. Do you have mm -hmm. to take some out at the at the noon? Because when I out from Balsama, it's very dark. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because uh, early. Uh, what to say if it's se esconde el sol? Or... Yes. Sunset. Sunset. I, sunset. I have for my office in sunset. Roma. Yes, yes. She, she was she was uh, she was celebrating his birthday. Ah, the birthday. Yes, of... yes, he's so, he's Happy birthday. But it was fun or boring? No, it was fine. Fine. We, we went to a restaurant. Oh, um, uh -huh. uh, yeah. What did you say? We. Teacher. Hello. Okay. Teacher, good evening. Sorry. Hello. Uh, can, can you repeat the topic? Sorry. Uh, it's just, about. Yeah, just talk about the weekend, the activities you guys did on the weekend. Use your, uh -huh. practice, your simple uh -huh. past, past continuous, used to, and all that. Okay, thank you. Sure, and no I, I, I will answer your question uh, later because I didn't understand very well because in the platform, um, don't, per, um, don't, no permite? Doesn't let? Doesn't let uh, to record. Okay, and is that part evaluated, Irene? Yes, it's evaluated because it's the part C of the platform. Um, I only have a fifty-five per percent. Okay, so le let me ask administration how to uh, uh, make that available. Uh, I'll ask. Okay, I. I I ask I question for a day, but uh, they they send me um, 
that I uh, to question to you. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, the, I received an, an email um, saying that uh, I had a student that didn't know what to do, but it was someone else. It wasn't you. So when we go to the main session, please mention it. Ah, okay. All yes, right, because they uh, don't accept uh, recordings. Okay. To, to record it. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Thank you to you. Bye bye. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I came back to my house to my house maybe at 11, 11, 11 30. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then I cooked I cooked um uh spaghetti to to my lunch. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In the afternoon I tried to to rest and okay. I, I watched two movies about Christmas. Christmas movies. Yes, I like one travel, then I came back and make another travel. So mm, that's why okay. I'm so so tired. Yeah. But, but you are you are shopping all day, so it's it's better than my day. My day all day was working and have meetings and I'm still working right now. I'm trying to speak English with you, with Francisco. And on the with other Francisco. hand, I try to, to search uh, <laughs> like a variation from a financial statement that we have a, a, a meeting with the CFO, the accounting manager, chief financial officer. Oh, okay. So it was okay. a very tough meeting and we don't have the, the answer right now. So I need to search in all the transaction for for how the the uh, the answer because I don't know, I don't have the clue only but I are you still working from home? Yeah, I'm still working from home. So, but I need to continue with English. So I am the boat in the boat size. I am stay with you, practice English, and then on, on the other hand, I have the the Excel, the Excel cheat, and try to figure out how. To, I can answer to the <laughs> account manager too. Uh huh. I think so. I think I'm going to take it after the three model. Yes, but we have to start in very hard because I wanted to pass that exam. <laughs> but are, are you going to take the the IBT? Is it is the name? Isn't it? You will take the IBT. No, 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 I won't. The paper other one. Based, the paper-based. Paper. Yeah, yeah. Ah. Paper-based hey. is, um, is, 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 um, no, sure. is a good option to have an idea mm -hmm. of, of how the TOEFL exam uh, is. And then uh, later on, if you want to challenge yourself more, then you take the TOEFL IBT. Exactly, that's, that's what I was thinking. Right. Right. Yes. yes step, step by step. Yes, sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. So, hey, 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 Francisco. Yes, sir. How is the 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 military exam? How is the number one and number nine? I tried a lot of times. I I couldn't. Number one and number nine. Mid uh -huh. midterm or final yes. exam. No, midterm. <laughs> midterm. <laughs> Actually, it's midterm, but I'm not sure because I'm different. Okay, let, let me check. Mm -hmm. You hear some children around here because my daughter is in Taekwondo. <laughs> oh. Is, 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 she, is, she, is she practicing? Mm. Yes, yes. <laughs> or is she taking classes? Yes, she is taking classes right now. Online? Mm -hmm. Online, yes. Yeah. All the years have been online. Okay, what belt does she have? Uh, green and blue. Oh, good, mm -hmm. good. <laughs> nice. Okay, yeah. let me check uh, midterm exam. You said question one and nine. Yes. Okay, let me check. 
The number one said many tone, the two types. I, I think two it's types mentioned. of listening questions? Uh, yes. Mention the two types of listening questions we have gone over in this course. Yes. Yes, that. Um, guest and purpose questions. Let, let me write it in the chat. I think those are the ones that appear in a, in a video. Yep. Yeah, uh, many, many of those questions, um, you need to watch the video, but the answer is gist and purpose. Oh, gist and purpose. Mm -hmm. and I, then, I, I seen the video, but I never seen that was the answer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and number nine, the answer is your ability to understand spoken English. Your ability to understand spoken English. I think this answer was typed in the chat room by someone. I think you, teacher. Maybe, your, maybe. Uh, yeah. Uh, your ability to understand spoken English. Yes, spoken English. Yep, that's the answer. Come on, uh, ability. Yeah, or your what? ability. Spoken. Your ability to understand spoken English. Spoke, I see, spoke. Spoken, spoken. Ah, spoken. Yes. Your ability to understand spoken English, yes. Let me visit another room. Okay. I think we have to be prepared in order to the, they have a, a the sacrament. I don't know. How can I say in English? Um, was the, the my whole morning in the then I returned to my house and I took the lunch in the afternoon. I I wanted to paint uh, the door the, the house because I have a little door and they paint with a marking in the door. It was a Hero, uh, but and then I I I painted the door. All was my my whole weekend. What about you, Norma? Well, in my case, in the survey, I go to San Salvador. Went to San Salvador because I had appointment, a medical appointment, and. The traffic was a crowd. <laughs> and I, I, um, I arrived at the appointment uh, 14 minutes late. And for the door, I had a lot of traffic in the Los Chorros. <laughs> oh <laughs> my God, I, 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 I travel more than the street than activity to, to do it to do it in San Salvador. And after that I coming at home uh, at my house and have a lunch very late because arrived near to three and a half yeah.
All right, welcome back. Thank you. Any questions or comments about what you guys did on the weekend? I guess not. Okay, so let's do a, a listening activity. I have four questions for you. I will dictate the four questions. You copy the questions, you listen to the audio, and you answer the questions. Do you have pen and paper? Do you? Yes. Or maybe a Word document, whichever Word document. you. Okay, good. Okay, question number one. Why do they need to meet next week? Why do they need to meet next week? Why do they need to meet next week? Question number two. What's the reason they cannot meet in the study room. What's the reason they cannot meet in the study room? Question three. In the study room, in the study? In the study room. Study, study room. Okay. Question number three, what's the event Monday afternoon? What's the event Monday afternoon? Is it raining where you are? A little. Uh, in Santa Ana, it's raining it, uh, near to the... Monday Five and a half to six. Yeah, it's raining right now in Lourdes. Um, Santa Tecla too is a little rain, it's soft raining. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. Here well, it was raining uh, um, half an hour ago. Okay, you know, mm -hmm. it's, you know how the climate has changed that, you know, it's raining when it's not supposed to be raining? Crazy. <laughs> okay. Crazy. Uh, yeah, question number three, what's the event Monday afternoon? And question number four, how would they spend half their time? How would they spend half their time? Half, sorry. How would they spend half their time? Half. Yes, half their time. Okay, what is the first question, class? Why do they need to meet next week? Okay, good. Why do they need to meet next week? Why do they need to meet next week? That is the first question. What is question number two? What's the reason they cannot in a study room? Good. What's the reason, the reason they cannot they cannot, they cannot meet. Meet. meet in the study room? In the study room. Okay, good. In the study room. Uh huh. What's the reason they cannot meet in the study room? Okay. What about question three? What the event Monday afternoon? Okay. What's the event? Event Monday afternoon. Monday afternoon. What's the event Monday afternoon? And what is question number four? How far they spend half their time? Okay, how would they spend how? half their time? Their. 
Are the questions clear? Yeah. Okay, so let me look for the audio. To share a computer sound. I will put you guys on mute so we don't have any interruptions. And here we go. Three, listen to a conversation between two students. I think we should meet early next week to finalize our presentation. What do you think? Yeah, I think you're right. I'm free on Monday at two. Yeah, that's good for me. Do you want me to book a study room at the library again? Hmm, I don't know. It's a nice quiet place to get work done, but I kind of like to drink coffee while we work. Since they don't allow drinks in the study rooms, what do you think of just meeting at the student union? Um, I think there's something going on at the union Monday afternoon. What was it? Ah, you're right. They're having some sort of book fair. Yeah, that's it. Lots of publishers are going to be setting up displays and everything. I'd really like to go to that. Me too. But what about our project? Monday is really the last day we can work on it before we have to do the presentation. Well, why don't we meet at the book fair and then go to the cafeteria and make the final preparations over a coffee? Don't you think it might be pretty noisy? Nah, I get a lot of studying done in the cafeteria. Yeah, but with the book fair, there'll be lots of extra people milling around. It could be really chaotic. Just getting a coffee might mean spending half our time waiting for the cafeteria lines. Okay, how is the quality of the sound? Okay. Oh, good. It's good. All right. Okay. One more time. Take notes. Three. Listen to a conversation between two students. I think we should meet early next week to finalize our presentation. What do you think? Yeah, I think you're right. I'm free on Monday at two. Yeah, that's good for me. Do you want me to book a study room at the library again? Hmm, I don't know. It's a nice quiet place to get work done, but I kind of like to drink coffee while we work. Since they don't allow drinks in the study rooms, what do you think of just meeting at the student union? Um, I think there's something going on at the union Monday afternoon. What was it? Ah, you're right. They're having some sort of book fair. Yeah, that's it. Lots of publishers are going to be setting up displays and everything. I'd really like to go to that. Me too. But what about our project? Monday is really the last day we can work on it before we have to do the presentation. Well, why don't we meet at the book fair and then go to the cafeteria and make the final preparations over a coffee? Don't you think it might be pretty noisy? Nah, I get a lot of studying done in the cafeteria. Yeah, but with the book fair, there'll be lots of extra people milling around. It could be really chaotic. Just getting a coffee might mean spending half our time waiting for the cafeteria lines. All right. Why do they need to meet next week? Anybody? Because they yeah. wanted to finalize the presentation. Finalize the presentation. presentation. Exactly. They need to finalize the presentation. What is a synonym of finalize? Finish. Finish. Excellent. Finish. Done. Now, what's the reason they cannot meet at the study room? Because it's a, a quiet place. Okay. Drink. Uh, there's no. Yeah. It's not coffee. allowed to drink when at the. Drink what? Room. Drink what? Coffee. Or, or coffee. 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 Yes. Yes. Coffee. Drinks so, in general. Right. Yeah. And that's the reason because the lady says, well, you know, I like to drink coffee while I do my work, but it's not permitted. So mm -hmm. she says it's a good place because yeah. it's quiet, but, you know, everybody works different. So some people cannot work without coffee. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, what's the event Monday afternoon? Uh, a book fair. 
A book fair. Book fair yes. A book fair, yes. And how would they spend half their time? Maybe Waiting. Waiting in line. Waiting in line. The cafeteria, cafeteria line. So. Yes. Because she says, well, you know, there will be extra people on Monday. You know, there will be more people in the cafeteria, so we'll spend half our time just waiting in line. Very good. Nice. Any questions about the listening? No. No? Okay. So we go to our last activity, which is related with um, something that we need to speak. What do we need to speak? We need to speak about... What do we need to speak? I don't know. To communicate yeah. for another language people. Maybe to, to find a, a good job. Maybe to teach somebody English. Okay. All right. So yes, when you um when you are speaking and if you want to be more fluent, you should have uh, plenty of vocabulary, and that's going to be uh, today's topics. Um, before we start, uh, somebody was telling me that uh, there is a section in the platform where you need to record your voice, you need to record your answer, right? Is, is that correct? Yes. So, can you record your voice? Have you tried no, doing it? No, yet. Okay, has anybody tried and has been able to record your voice? Yes, we can do it. You can do it. So, so we, we need to send to you the, 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 the record voice. No, uh, you don't need to send me anything, but my question is, are you able to record your voice in the platform? Ah, uh, no, no. No, in the platform, no. That is, no, no. not able to, to do it. Okay, and that section is evaluated. Okay, okay, let, let me ask administration how we can handle that. Maybe, maybe, I'm not sure. Maybe you will have to record your voice on WhatsApp or, or whatever and send it to me and then I will give you a, a grade, maybe. I'm not sure, but let Teacher. me ask. Teacher? Yes? Okay. Uh, in the instru instruction, uh -huh. uh, say, say, say that you, that we need uh, to record an audio and send you to a part. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Let me ask, let me ask what the process is like exactly. So if you guys need to send me something, I will tell you tomorrow during the day. Uh, so you can start working on your recording. Okay. It's the same with the second, with the reading teacher. Okay, let me ask. The, the instruction is that we have to do a resume, resume, I don't know, resume. Summary, summary. Summary, yes, and we need to send you uh, before to finish, after to finish, after to finish. Be before, yes. before we before finish. finish you. Okay, before so we finish. Let, let me ask administration and, and I will share with you guys the answer that I received. Okay, but it's necessary to send you? That's what I will ask. That, that's going to be my question. Okay, teacher, thank yeah. you. Okay, so let me um, reassign you guys. It's raining hard in Lourdes. That's nice. It's starting in Santa Ana, please. Good, good. I love the rain. Here in San Miguel, it's not raining. It's not raining. Yes. Okay. It's not. In San Antonio, it's not raining. Okay. <laughs> Long Island, it's not so, raining. So only Lourdes is lucky to have rain right now. Okay. I will send you the cloud later on. Be patient. Okay. All right. So look for your partner and talk about vocabulary. Let's go.
Can you hear me, Nubia? Yes. Okay. Yes, Oscar. Okay. Do you have an impressive knowledge of vocabulary or in your... What do you say, the... Sorry? Uh, I think both are important because we need to know about grammar and vocabulary and we have to we have to have a good structure yes, I, I agree with you yes okay the next one is do you have an, an impressive knowledge of vocabulary in your own language mm, impressive knowledge of vocabulary in your own language <gasps> Mm, I believe that no. <laughs> well, I, I guess that your knowledge of vocabulary, you can learn. You can learn more when you practice, right? Because uh, in my own language, it is not enough when you learn English. Because uh, in English, <laughs> yes. Do you have a an impressive knowledge of vocabulary in your own languages? Uh, yes, yeah, because uh, some new words that we have to, to learn and um, the, the, the translated in, on a, on a Spanish is a little different uh, than we, we think or we just when we think in, this, in, the, in English, uh, maybe uh, uh, the translation is it, it is, but uh, it's, it's, it's different. And when we uh, find the the word the, the, the word translated is different as the translation. Yes, mm -hmm. that's true. Uh, what is the hardest thing about learning English vocabulary? about learning English vocabulary. It's important, really it's important. Yes, it's very important because you need to, you need to have more. What is the hardest thing about learning English vocabulary? The comprehension, maybe, yeah, if, uh, sometimes it's difficult to to know or understand the significance of uh, a few words. For me, it's the most difficult. Even though if you try to to Google it, and always always have to try that vocabulary. <laughs> oh, excellent! Yes, yes, yes. yes. And, and we can use the uh, YouTube to learn vocabulary. Mm -hmm. Yes, using in a sentence. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, next question. Do you have an impressive knowledge of vocabulary in your own language? Um, mm -hmm. Impressive. Do you have impress impressive, impressive? Knowledge, what is impressive? Impressive, impressive, it's impressive. Mm. Teacher, tell us, help us. Yeah, <laughs> impressive, like surprising. Ah, surprising. Like, uh, like uh, in other words, do you feel good about yourself, about mm. how much vocabulary you have in Spanish? Mm. Ah. That's, well, that's what it means. Okay. I don't get it, but... <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. It's nine o'clock already. I know we didn't have enough time to finish this speaking activity. Uh, 
this is going to be a, a topic that we will finish discussing tomorrow. Any questions or comments? I like the class. <laughs> That's my comment. <laughs> good. Very good. Okay, yeah. so remember, we finish this coming Wednesday, and I will ask administration how to, uh, how to proceed about the question about recording. So okay. I'll see you guys in the look. Have a good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye. See you. Bye.